Right then, so in the last few hours the Mike Downs page, i.e. me, has been looking at YouTube Studio Beta and in particular on the left hand side the editor and what we can find so far. So to help me I've made a short video test um, which I've uploaded to the new video editor and I'm going to be in these few minutes doing three things. One is uh, talking to you um, and me and the team who build this software at YouTube about the keyboard shortcuts, about the possibility of trimming and splitting, which at the moment I think is bugged and doesn't work, I will demonstrate. And then the final thing is, which is really, really hugely important, and that is, what do we as users, and even people from YouTube themselves, want this studio editor to actually do? So, as a bit of background, we went over to uh, Tom and the Creator Insider team on the 19th of July, where he made a video which was about the um, Studio Beta uh, editor, amongst other things, and showed these screens last night. So what happened was that late last night I received this editor in all of my YouTube accounts. I hope you have too, um, which means I can have a good old look at it. So the main thing uh, to start with is just to talk through a little bit here and why it's important, and that is that if you make videos, and I can only talk about me and what I see about other people, and that is on mobile, um, for 30 seconds, I screen record using AZ Screen Recorder, I use Editing Power Director Cyberlink, I use Google Photos app. I can only use the Google Photos app now to create a movie, rotate, stabilise, that's it. On desktop windows, I screen record again, as I am now, using OBS Studio. I video edit it, edit using Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 15. I should do more, but because of the ability of the brilliant power director, I can get away with mobile very, very fast, very, very quickly. By the way, I'm not a big, big videographer. But if I do video recording, I'm pretty much using my Moto G4 on Android 7.0. Uh, yeah, I've got other action cams and the odd DSLR. I don't really use it. Anyway, um, over here on the right-hand side, on mobile, the YouTube app, I personally never use the thing. Never use it. Because I'm doing other things on the left side of the screen, which I've just said. But... Uh, just to, to clarify this, the YouTube app, when you upload a new video, you can do small enhancement edits and trim things off the front and the back. Uh, I never use it. On, probably because I don't need to, the YouTube Studio, which is the Creator Studio app, I use all the time for like little minor edits and thumbnails and stuff. On desktop, talking about YouTube forward slash dashboard, there is no editor. There used to be a little editor, they did away with it. Fair enough, it wasn't that great. Um, which means that we move over to the studio.youtube where it must be, as I've said, a welcome addition to make a video editor because if YouTube are putting resource in it, they must think so as well. So if I bring that down to the example here, um, and that is that I've uploaded a video which I have made using movie studio 15 platinum and it looks like this it's just got a picture of some fields at the top i've added a timestamp on it um and i've added some music and particularly i've added a test card every so often so in other words at the start in the middle and at the end and the reason i've added a test card is i want to get rid of it when i go over to the editor so to get started in the editor and just uh, to be on track First thing is keyboard and then trim split and we should be done. So if we go over to the editor and this is studio.youtube.com forward slash your videos and then you click on one of the videos, you get this console. So let's just bring it down to uh, reset it on my monitor, which by the way is 1920 by 1080 pixels. And I get this. The first thing which I suggest you do if you are interested, and that is to go up to the right hand side and view the keyboard shortcuts. Once again, I'm going to um, try and use my time usefully. Whoa, yeah, that'd do, wouldn't it? So what we're trying to get to here is that the shortcuts, let's come out one, actually. I suggest that, um, yeah, that'd do, wouldn't it? Now let's come out one more. When I say come out, I mean um, if I'm looking at, oh, come out one more. Let me know if you make videos too. Here we go, keyboard 
shortcuts, then you know, navigating your screen to be seen on mobile like this, I want to make the text as big as I can. So to view these short shortcuts on keyboard, bear in mind I'm on Windows 10 and every single one is written as Command Plus. We know on Windows it's going to be Control, but if you're on a Mac, of course, Command. I have sent feedback in already, which I'm sure is on their list to say, hey, you know, let's detect a operating system and change it to either read Control or Command, because people won't know. Honestly, they will not know. We're talking about millions of people who potentially can come here, if not billions. So, everybody knows that, but I'm uh, just talking about um, what we see, because feedback is vital. So, okay, let's get started. To zoom in, so that for me it's Control Command, plus and minuses. This works, by the way, I've tested these out. Zoom to fit is quite useful. Uh, we've got Command... Um, to go in undo and redo, fair enough, nudge in playhead. Now I'm pleased to say that if we look at this whole nudge in the playhead, we can look at frame by frame, which is really important to me and it should be to you because frame by frame is how videos work. If you're recording at something like 30 frames per second, that's 30 individual pictures sped up and by the trick of magic, in other words, the light, it looks like the things are moving full screen, and that works. You press F, the whole thing goes full screen. I'll show you what I mean just on, on one of them. So if I was looking at, say, this, and I wanted to go uh, and press F now, the whole thing would go to full screen and it would play. Press F again, it comes off. Um, so go back to, what was it? Control, oh, to get the keyboards up. Control, question mark, wouldn't it? Yeah, there they are, look. So do these make sense? They pretty much do at this stage. So we've got the familiar, if you're familiar with video editing, um, mute, by the way, is the audio muting. I think it should actually say toggle, you know, toggle mute, but audio would be useful. You know, if you're into video editing, sometimes when you mute, it's muting an element on your timeline. I put it, it's transparency to zero. doesn't matter. Um, toggle the play and the pause, K or space. That means you play your video back and you K space is familiar to me. J and L's, which are of course on the keyboard or on the left hand side of K, so on the, your QWERTY keyboard it's JKL, if that's what you're using. The ability to go backwards and forwards 10 seconds, useful. Decrease the playback rate. Now this is really, really useful because the playback rate is, of course, if you're not familiar, um, is the standard YouTube rate, so that's something like up to double the speed, down to a quarter, so there's about eight variants of that. I use, for a lot of my videos to play back, a times by 1.5, because it's just quicker. Um, what else have we got here? Seeking. Seeking the smallest amount possible. Now, that could be frame by frame. Very, very interesting. Very, very useful as well at this stage. Comma and dot, or period, of course, is on your QWERTY keyboard, just below the left and right little brackets that we use. So if you look at the decrease the playback rate, so that's going to be a shift to get into this um, left bracket, or so that's less than and more than, and then the comma and period, right? That's useful. When you focus on the timeline, um, when focused on the time code, yeah, that's, in yeah, that's really interesting because you actually click inside the, to the time code and do this. I can only do this in a second when I get a move on and demonstrate to you. Um, move the focus to the start of the handle, so it's I's and O's. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of these. Then focus on the player, backwards five, forward five, increase volume by five, decrease five, five. These are all the navigation errors on your keyboard. We've got seek to the beginning, home, fair enough and end. Sometimes on mobile keyboards and laptops the home key is a bit harder to find. And this one's quite useful. Seek to a specific point um, in the actual video itself. So of course 5 would be 50% halfway through. So in other words I think the best thing to do here is, I'm not going to demo them all but I'm going to get a, a rough idea. So if I want to play this video and I'm using J, K and L so I'm going to use K uh, hold on, let's let's click on it, K. Okay. Yeah, and you can see it's playing away there. Now rem remember, um, if I wanted to go through, and I'm just going to see if I can remember these, what was it? Something like Control uh, Plus, wasn't it? Control Plus, yeah, it goes in. 
So forgetting the keyboards a moment and just going on screen, when I say forgetting them, I mean, there's always two ways. You can either do it with your mouse and clicking around or you can use your keyboard. Um, video editing, of course, if you are keyboard literate, is really, really useful. So if you go into, and let's just bring this out a little bit. Yeah, um, somewhere in here where the music starts, and I did this particularly, is remember if I click inside the frame and then I go up. Oh, no, it wasn't that one. Which was it? It was period, wasn't it? Uh, was it period? Can't remember the keyboard. Hey, this is fun. So if we do um, control, what was it to get them back? Control question mark was which was the one about clicking in the um, when focused on the. Um, do you know what? Uh, I'm messing up here, and he said said a rude word there. Let me just play this for a second. So. Yeah, let, let's just play. Oh, that's not it. You can notice on this video here, right, there it is there. So if I go back, yeah, you can see that I'm actually going back. To, yeah, so this this is useful. So what I'm doing is I'm going in and I am 11. Hold on, let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. Trying to talk at the same. Yeah, what I'm doing now is I'm going in frame by frame. So what on the count here, it's not three um, it's three seconds and frames. So in other words, if I go in, you should go back if you're not familiar with video editing. It's, it's, so at the moment I'm at two seconds and 23 frames, two seconds and 24 frames, three seconds, 301. Can you see the change there with my card or my test card has gone over to that uh, image. So uh, to do an edit, what we need to do, and what I'm really liking is the left and the right arrows. I can control this video frame by frame, which is really useful. So let's say I wanted to cut there. So then what I need to do is I need to do a trim, which actually works by splitting on the bottom. This is the end of everything at the moment because what I can't do, notice the bottom right where I'm vigorously moving my mouse around, I can't preview it and I can't save it. So I think there is a bug here at this stage and I can't edit the trim either. What I can do is I can go up here and I can add another split and another split but I can't get any further. So hey this is a great working thing in progress but I would have thought that preview should work and split. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna say that uh, if we could do one other thing before we go uh, this is getting a bit jumbled, not jumbled exactly, but when you looked at Tom's video, when you hit, um, say, add an end screen, which he did, let's say if I tried, I, I won't do this at this stage, I'll cancel it. I'm waffling a bit, and the reason I'm waffling is because obviously I can't continue because the UI, the beta isn't working for me at the moment, unless I'm doing something drastically wrong. But when you add elements, you can add a video playlist, um, a channel, or, or a link. What I hope 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 that this will allow us to do is to allow another video so in other words what I'm getting at is that what I've done here is I've made shall we say potentially two clips join as one but when I've sent it to YouTube they are the complete video so in other words the components I've got a test card a video a test card a video a test card a normal person may go out and shoot little short videos and they want to combine them to make a bigger video of course because that's what video editing is can this YouTube editor actually do those tasks which are very, very similar to what happens, um, say, in somebody like me who goes out and makes videos, i.e. I use Power Director, I use uh, even Google Photos, I use Vegas Movie Studio. But hey, I think we could leave it there because I'm way, way, way not off track. I'm just hit a dead end because I would love it to work. But hey, if you haven't seen it, Go down and um, I put a note in Tom's Video Creator Insider. Here's me, look, Mike Downs, about the new video editor. Have a look between 10 and 11.30. So, look, I'll put this on a playlist and see if uh, Tom and the team and, you know, anybody else uh, in public can feed back on what's going on here. OK, have a lovely Monday, 30th of July, 2018, in the UK, in England.